Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come to you today and spend this time in the Word of God. We trust that each and every day you are growing in your walk with God. You're growing in your faith in God and you are seeing yourself being changed into the image of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says that's what God's doing. He's changing us from glory to glory into that same image. And we are people who are to go from faith to faith. It means from one level of faith on to the other, the next level of faith. We've been talking about having uh, Jesus teaching on faith. And uh, today, I want to bring our attention to what Jesus called as great faith. You see, there were two people in the Gospels to whom Jesus commended them. And he said, you've got great faith. One of them was the Roman centurion. Very interestingly, he was not a Jew. He was not somebody who, you know, heard the teaching of the scriptures week after week, and who studied the scriptures. No, he was a Roman, you know, typically would be referred to as a Gentile, non-Jewish person, a centurion, a, a man in authority, a man who had, uh, you know, risen up to a place of rank in the army. He had uh, soldiers under him, commanded people. So he must have been, uh, you know, a, a, some man of some caliber and character and repute. Now he comes to Jesus one day. This is Matthew, the eighth chapter. And uh, he has a servant who was, who was very ill. We don't know exactly what his medical condition was, but he was very ill. Obviously, this Roman centurion heard about Jesus, heard about the miracles and all of that. So he decided to make his way to Jesus. And he comes to Jesus and he says, You know, Lord, my servant is terribly ill. He's grievously tormented. And Jesus said, I'll come and heal him. And this Roman centurion responds and he tells Jesus, Lord, speak the word only and my servant will be healed. He said, speak the word only my servant will be healed. And his, his logic was this. He went on to say, because I am a man under authority and I have soldiers under me. And I tell a soldier, go and he goes and somebody come and he comes. That's why I, I'm just, all I want from you is just your word. Speak the word only. And Jesus calls this man. He says, I've never seen such great or even all of Israel. So what is great faith? When we look at this and we think about this whole scenario, we can, if you want to put it in one single statement, great faith simply believes the word God has spoken. That when God speaks it, that word will be done because the one who speaks it has all authority. The one who speaks it will back up his word, though everything else is in subjection to his word. And so the moment he speaks it, it's done. That's great faith. And you and I have the Bible. The Bible is God's word. It's what God has already spoken. So I'm not, we're not waiting for God to speak a new word. God has already spoken. And when we believe the Bible, just take that word, that we can be like the sanctuary. God has spoken, it will be done. That's great faith. Great faith is simply believing that because God has spoken, it will be done. God has spoken already concerning you, your life, your health, your finances, every area of your life, and you believe that it will be done. That's great faith. Simple. Let's pray. Lord, help us to be people of great faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.